surprised me right there. Oh, sorry about that. I supposed to run a video and I didn't promote well. Forgot to hit send. Such is life in a big city. We'll get better every single day. I guess that kind of goes in line with the stuff that we do. Welcome back to the MLB Pick Show here at Mayo Media Net, brought to you by Underdog. Make sure you sign up for that bad boy. Jump along with our picks. Use the promo code MMN. First hundred bucks, match free. If it's free, it's for me. Sorry again about the man production fail. I'll tell you what, <laughs> and probably all the producers I've worked with in the pits and apology to. I'm always very nice to people. I, I really try and be pleasant to work with. Of course, I could be overbearing because I'm super competitive and stuff. But man, a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Doing back and forth. You're man, you're, there's a lot more formatting, a lot more going on behind the scenes than you think. Who cares about that? We need more of this. Fastest show in MLB, absolutely freaking anywhere. With your host, the big man at John Legaza. Follow me up on Twitter X at John Legaza, not Triple X. Although, if this fails, I mean, that's only fans. It's not off the table. Let's just put it. Let's just put it that way. Put the fantasy back in fantasy baseball, baby. <laughs> oh my God, help us all. All right, let's have some fun today. Hat tip is always to our man, Patty Mayo. Just the dude. And also for Underdog, having you, you know, having us bring you this show. God, I hate to ask for it. It's not the worst. Pressing fingers and pressing bells matters more than it should. Enough of that. All right, another two picker. The first time I pick a hitting prop all year yesterday, of course, guy gets scratched. Well, he's locked in today. I'm like running over to the lines. I know, like I know I saw the green dot. All right, I got the double green dot. So we're going to run it back. No, it's not just the same old Borg. Not the same old Borg analysis. I did not just copy and paste it. Let's get into the two pick pack. We'll pick a pack of pick them props. A little higher, lower action. And then we'll fly through the board a little bit. Again, commenters. I haven't seen any because I don't have it up because I'm not doing a great job today. Any questions you have, we'll get to them first, as always. If not, I'll just spin through the board, show you what I like. I've been staring at this stuff all day. If you're unfamiliar to my work, again, follow me on Twitter. It's an absolute. It's all of the baseball things. All right, well, first one, let's go. We got Phillies on the road. Zach Wheeler on the bump against the Redbirds. Sonny Gray making his return for the Cardinals. Why not derail before we even get started, right? Never hurt anybody. I like the Phillies today. I, I was really surprised to see. I, I haven't looked at the odds in a minute. I posted this much earlier today, but I was really surprised to see. Philly only is like a minus 130, minus 135. Favorite St. Louis, the offense has been garbage. We don't know what we're going to get from Sonny Gray. They both have problems in the bullpen. Philly's offense, listen, it's been stammering a bit. But again, let's not overreact to a couple days worth of stats. Trey Turner, Kyle Schwaber, Bryce Harper, those are all good players. So I like the Phillies right off the bat, maybe more so. My dude on the bump. Man, Zach Wheeler, one of my Cy Young picks. I also had him for league lead. In strikeouts at 25 to 1. He's one of the three pitchers left healthy from the preseason, from what I gather. We're actually going to get to that in a little bit. Josiah Gray started for the Nats. Down, out, IL. Not that that's really rocking anybody, but eh, I was looking to go up against him. But I think we're going to go after his opponent. Let's take a look at Wheeler so far this year. He's been dominant. 0.75 ERA with a 0.83 with 512 OPS. Just doing all the things, right? The earned indicators agree. K rate elevated above 31, the walk rate at two. Keep that number in mind. That's a 29 K minus BB on the back of a 19 swing and strike, 33 and a half CSW, 35% whiff, 73 first strike. It just goes on and on and on and on. Also, the seriously elevated chase rate. If you want to see or follow along with some of the numbers, again, that stuff's all part of the sub stacker. You got them on Twitter. To have a 40% chase rate on, again, I've had some people come at me with questions because the numbers are a little bit. Different when you change providers, these things happen. If you move from baseball information solutions, fan graphs over to Savant, there's this helpful stuff, people. I'll help you understand, like, why is hard hit rate so different? Because they, they have different accountings. They don't always have different names. So that can present obvious issues. If you get used to looking at a certain set all the time, you'll notice sometimes. Right there, when you move to a different one, it's like, oh, of course, I format all my stats. So the colors really speak to you. But where I was going was, Wheeler, just a big-time bully. Right, not just like a cool 
metric. We actually quantified this. We started. I started using this. It's actually been pretty helpful. It, when you add first strike to chase rate, if they equal over 100, you got yourself a bully. Gets up, gets ahead, makes his chase his junk. Plus, he's got the crazy control, all the swing and miss you could possibly ask for. He's just been excellent. First play, coming at you. Incoming. We're going to go Wheeler under one and a half walks today. Love Wheeler control plays anytime we can get it. Last five years for Wheeler, that's 641 innings pitch. Pretty decent sample. 5% walk rate. Last two years, two hundred three back to 2023, I should say. 203 innings pitched, 5% walk rate. Backed up with the sub-34% ball. Again, remember here we use ball rate greater than sign, walk rate, a little bit more predictive, better of an input stat. If you're unfamiliar, again, we like to not just give you the number to show you how to use it. Call it 35 the center, then there's three clicks, like high, medium, low, you know. High, medium, low in both directions, you know. 35 to the bad side, 36, uh, 37. I need to go for 38. Oh, my goodness. Control's a man issue. Same way the bottom. 34 is not getting good. 33 is excellent. Anything below, like Wheeler, you know, you're a control freak, right? That's like your Kirby's and your Wheeler's, guys like that. Then year to date, 2% walk, 30% ball, just doing exactly what we hope for. So anytime I can get my hands on Wheeler walk props at the decent price of Undog, I'm going to take it. We also have a pretty good split here. Check it out. Cardinals offense. I mentioned they were kind of – they've been kind of dog poo. 217 team batting average on the year. That's a 635 OPS, 25.5% K rate, 7.5 walk, 13 swing and strike, 82 zone contact. So, right, losing in the zone, swinging and missing, not taking walks, really not being patient at all. But if anything, the split, and of course I have all the split data on my side, really, really heavily slanted towards – Righties, right? Downside to the righties versus lefties, 21K, 13 walk, 10 swing and strike, 22 chase. Like, that's a really strong disciplinary basket. And you flip over to the other side, righties, 27K to only six walk, 13 swing and strike. There's all that bad stuff. So it's been against righties. They're just, Carl's are just really being impatient. A 5.5% walk rate as a team against righties. Man, through 316 plate appearances already, right? The, the offensive stats are obviously going to build faster than the pitching stats. We're going to have to wait five days for the pitching stuff. Jeez Louise. So I think we're going to get that one. We'll give us Wheeler under one and a half walks. That's our first one. Remember, if you want to follow along and you haven't signed up yet, jump on to Underdog. Promo code MMN. Whoop, whoop, whoop. One of those directions. Use that promo code MMN. Let them know G Big Johnny sent you. The first 100 bucks should be enough damage, enough to do damage for new players. If you're rolling with us, I always suggest the first couple of days, you don't have to play with real cash. Just follow along, see how you're doing. If you're comfortable, if lines change, just follow. But you don't always have to have your foot on the gas. It could be two, three days. Think about that. And rather than lose, now you have an idea. You feel more confident when you step out on the ice, right? When you get on the field. Big stove in the house, grab your spear and your shield, my dude. We give the books nothing, take from them everything here at 300. Would you go three bases for Conforto? You know why I preach juice. Well, you're actually getting a decent deal because they're over even money. The Conforto has the spicy pepper. I think if we're going to go to three bases, I'd probably look at the home run prop. I know he's only hit one homer against righties. We're going to get into that in a second. But Gray swap for a don. I mean, we we should recommend. They only they didn't put up a full of don thing, but like we're short all the don stuff. Right, would be over or runs allowed, be or just over everything. There's a chance he gets totally cracked. He really wasn't prepared. He hasn't pitched yet this year. But while we're on it, we might as well get into it. You know what? One last thing, because I promised, and because it means a lot to us. We were talking about responsibility before. Playing smart, you know, using your head, not always going chin first into the deposit button, the last thing we want to be doing. Well, it's the first thing I want you to be doing. But it's the last time I want you to be doing it, is what I mean. So you must be 18 to play, president in a legal state. All, you know, the terms apply, check the rules, as always. And if you have problems, man, you know, call 1-800-GAMBLER. You can reach out to me also. Dead serious. I will carve out time for that stuff. It means a lot to me because I know I put, you know, I put this stuff out there. I don't want to be hurting people. We want to be helping people. We want to be having fun, which we absolutely can be doing and should be doing. Let's do some more of that. 
with neither one man band. Although <laughs> today I probably could have used a backup singer. Sorry again about the video intro. I had the whatever stupid. I tried to go counter into video. I sometimes I bit off more than I could chew because I was coming in slow. And again, life in a big city. All right. So Wheeler are under one and a half walks. Next up, big stug already mentioned. Michael Conforto. We're gonna go back, back to the well. Not that we lost. He just didn't play yesterday. So give me Michael Conforto. I mentioned Josiah Gray hit the IL today. They surprised Juan Adon with a start. So he's going to get a spot start here. He hasn't pitched yet, and it was pretty rough even when he knew he was starting. Last year, Josiah, just shy of 52 innings, 6-5 ERA with 1-6 whip, 850 OPS, 20K to only 10% walk, that 10% KBB, 10 swing strike, 25 CSW. All really bad stuff. Just getting beat in the zone. It was kind of a rough go that first time for a dawn. So I think he might be in for a little bit more. Also, the lefty split was very tough in the first go around. Lefty's bat 299 against him. More than one and a half, homer nine. Those numbers that we're always kind of looking for getting beat up. I got some more granular stuff. His career versus lefties was 279 XBA. So we love that. Only 7% walk rate. You know, I wanted to make sure that I put the highlighter on that because it's something that I got in trouble with early on, playing total bases. Walks will get you in trouble. We don't want to walk. right? So we're looking for pitchers that are in the zone. right? If the control is bad, it's so bad they don't do chases like a Don. They fall behind like a Don have to come in the zone. That's what we're hoping for. So if all that stuff falls our way, we should be looking pretty good. 299 BA, I mentioned the OPS up near 1,000 versus lefties. This is career, actually. Double-digit bow rate, 344 X Woba. Expected Woba on contact north of 414. Shamalam at Ding Dongs. Then you go to flip side, Conforto versus righties. I, I didn't want to just go with this year, especially coming off the day off. I don't want to get accused of copy and pasting. He's always been pretty good. We just needed him to get healthy, and I think we're seeing the best part of that now. Last 400 plate appearances against righties, it's going back through last year. 77% contact, double digit barrel, nearly 350 X Woba, and then year to date, 273 average, 930 OPS, and a 273 ISO. That isolated slugging, of course, is a extra base hit rate. 40% hard hit, 11% barrel, 399 X Woba, 420 expected on contact from Conforto. So that's the second leg right there. He has the a spicy mid the ball. Well, he's a spicy pepper. Today, so we're going to go Wheeler under one and a half walks and Fordo over one and a half total bases. We've got some time for you to get those plays in. Again, um, sorry about the video thing. It really killed me. I beat myself up. Sometimes I'm always trying to get better and be – I mentioned being highly competitive. I really don't look super, super, super competitive. Well, chalk the one up as a loss, but we'll take a production loss for a gambling win. I think everyone did that. Elf for love. Elf for love. Sorry, so that's our two-pack, two plays. Let me take a little scan of the board. Again, I was trying to trim. We're trying to – I need to be streamlined sometimes, right? I can be a uh, Tasmanian devil. So if you want that stuff, that's all the outside stuff. This we're going to really try and focus on, right, these granular plays. Checking prices against the book, getting in a plus EV spot, and hopefully knocking down two packs, three packs. Not really, you know, it, it happens to be two, right? Chasing the uh, too many legs. And sometimes I'll, you'll even preach, or I will at least, well, if we go conservative, right? We just knock it down. Not nah, just knock it down. It's not really enough, right? Because that one, you're always still challenging extra outcomes, and it really puts a strain on the math. Where we're better off, again, right? I model this stuff. We have access to custom projections. We should be planting flags, right? DDB, can we bring back the home run shots? You know what? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to absolutely tell you what. Maybe we could filibuster through one right now. Maybe that'll be a, a cool little addition to the, to the path. Again, I've been focusing more on pitcher props. Because hitters get sit. You know, I wait until the last minute. I'm trying to pick plays that – not saying I'm, I'm forcing anything, but if I can, right, we want to focus on the nice stuff so I can get it out there so people can watch. 
and focus on it's no fun. Oh man, the misplays, right? That's kind of the point. Content we want people to enjoy and be able to actually benefit off of. Sometimes you have projected lineups, guys are checked off, and they're not. So I like that because we will be doing mostly pitcher stuff. I like the idea of a hitter. Let's take a look today. As always, you know, I've got my my handy dandy spready sheeties, right? Let's let's dive, let's dive into the spreadsheets and see what we can see. Let's see today's starters. Who's got the best chance of a raw, just kind of like bad stuff, home run tendencies, right? We're looking for like fly balls, right? I think that's a good spot. So I actually got Kyle Harrison tonight is not is not a bad spot. Even, even maybe, and I've got Savale to give up a bomb as well. Harrison's got to be to the right-hand side. So that's Washington. Again, these are not – oh, man, if it was lefties, maybe we would have – we would have maybe had a Gallo. You know, Lane Thomas. I think it's Lane Thomas. So I think that's my I think that's my pick. Let's just see if we can – let's take a look. I know he just – he just hit one. I love to jump on the sine wave. He's also a hitter that I really like. Right, so I love to get exposure to hitters that we believe in getting up off the getting up off the mat because I think he was off to a bit of a slow start. No, it was just the opposite. He's killed left. He's killed left-handed pitching. So let's go, Lane Thomas. Seventeen plate appearances this year against lefties, batting four twenty-nine nine fifty-eight OPS. He doesn't have the extra base hit yet, but like I said, he did just hit the home run. Let's go, Lane Thomas. Also, um, placement, which I, I wanted to mention before, we're not getting it with Conforto. I'm making an exception in playing a home hitter. Right, Generally, we want to be on the road because we want to guarantee the ninth frame in the case with the replacement pitcher, and we're the heavy favorite, I think. I think we're going to get the extra rotation anyway. right? So we should get the extra PA. Obviously, there's no guarantees. If not, it means that Don just went nuts, and then the bullpen went nuts. Like I'm almost not really, I'm not really buying. So I like Lane Thomas is my Don call, and I also really like that idea, DD. So let's go with the Lane train, and I appreciate right. This should the door swinging both ways. I'm really open to stuff, and I think that kind of works into this the the streamlined stuff because that home run calls are really great for everybody, right? People that play are into that stuff because it, if you're going to play for a home run, the total bases are open, which means you shoot over. And if you're getting plus odds, it's a good spot. DFS people, of course, want home run stuff. Not, I guess Lane Thomas is probably on a more expensive end, but it's not always expensive players, right? Sometimes it's, I get a lot of platoon hits, right? Where those guys are not, are not expensive in DFS. And then of course, you know, anybody just, do an underdog and stuff like that also. So I'm really into that. I like that. I like the home run because it's universal. I think that's what I was getting at. Didi, ask me one more time about ladder for Reagan's strikeouts. Mm. Well, I think right off the bat, he certainly got, right, he certainly got the stop. Where I've gotten in some trouble before, I, I was actually talking about this earlier this morning, is – Relying too much on the pitcher to do the striking out and not enough on the hitters that like bad hitters that chase and stuff kind of force. I know I'm on the under in that game. The F5 got posted at four and a half, so I know I'm under that. Let's take a look and pop over to Houston. These things do change year to year. They're generally very tough on lefties, and that's what kind of makes me work because they're, they're generally hard to K anyway. Yeah, they're probably the best – Discipline team against lefties. They're top three in strikeouts, top five in walks, top five in swing and strike rate, also high contact. So I haven't seen the numbers, so I'm not, you know me, man. I'm always really open with this. So I'm not trying to like put anyone's play down. I, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. I know Reagan's is usually juiced up. Hold on, I'm mumbling and stumbling my way over to my strikeout ladder page. 
And so Reagan's need seven for plus 220, eight for plus 450. I'd rather not go there because the flip side of that same game where Javier could get eight strikeouts, that's plus 750. You know, so look, there's a little, there's a little strikeout touch. I actually think we're getting good. Javier, I think he's still being sold short. I think the outprop is short. I think all the stuff is short. I think if we're getting good Javier, I think a lot of us in the nerdy fantasy community were just kind of a year early. And he's the kind of guy, step forward. The Astros always seem to do it also, right? They always seem to do this. We've all been there. And now for Amber Down, we always know someone's going to step up. He's a perfect candidate. So that'll do it, everybody. Trimming up the show a little bit, being a little more right to the point. Let's flash it one more time. We're going streaking up through the quad. Who's coming with me? <laughs> Wheeler, under one and a half walks. He's a control whiz. Conforto, over one and a half total bases. He's been mauling right-handed pitchers going up against Joanna Don, who's just had career struggles against lefties. He's never really had an answer. Mark Carr, great to see new faces, names. Welcome aboard. Grab the spear and the shield with defending Sparta, baby. Any thoughts on the total for Arizona at Colorado? It's at 11, but I'm still thinking over. Love the show. No, we love your support. It means the world. Press the finger. Stick your cartoon finger inside me. Okay. Over in cores is never like a bad, stupid thing. But, and this is just me being honest, as like a modeler, I have always struggled. I just, like, I have to put my finger so hard on the scale to get, you know, up there sometimes that it makes me worry a touch. Let's go, let's go check out the algo. Again, it's all part of my work. All my work is all forward facing. So, yeah, listen, yes, I, I, I am with you. And it's funny, we'll do a quick thing on, on model reading. So for me, you would because I got this question ready today, the model has a strong 10. And people say, man, we're a full run under. That's scary, right? We would normally be betting under things that are cores is the exception. Because to get model to a 10, that's how you run out. My Listen, I have a good model, right? So it doesn't give you 18. You're never going to get Spencer Strider is facing some bone oh, Sorry, Strider, I just put the horns. You know, uh, Tyler Glass now, right? It's going to win 18 to nothing. There's no such thing, right? The max I've ever probably seen on the model is sniffing seven. The max I've probably ever seen on the model to the downside is down around two. That's what it is, right? Because these are ranges of outcomes, means of probabilities, weighted averages and stuff. So you have to get a feel for how to read these things. So long story long and six million words or more. I'm not on the over, but being over is fine. Gallon just got cracked, right? He was up 4-1 and he got smoked. Th these games and the bullpens are also really whack, which, again, is usually for me the thing I want for a full game over. I don't think enough people look at it. The Diamondback bullpen has actually been surprisingly good, given that they lost Seawald. But the Rockies bullpen may be the worst in the league. They have a seven and a quarter ERA, nearly two whip, 300 batting average allowed, 90 zone contact. Yikes. All right, so, yeah, you can go over on that one. <laughs> you can go over on that one if you'd like. All right, and that will do it. We're out of here, people. Thanks for picking up what we're putting down here at Mayo Media Net. Please make sure you rate, review, and subscribe because that stuff matters more than it should. Pressing fingers, pressing bells matters more than it should. Tagging me, tagging Pat, tagging Underdog on Twitter matters more than it should. Just anything. Even like I think, from what I understand, bad comments are valuable. So what a stupid world. You show sucks. You're fat. Like I guess they see that. Like if you're if you're so bad, you actually trigger people into spending their personal time to interact. We'll find a spot for you. So anyway, that's how stupid the world is. Do all the things that matter. We'll catch you soon. Remember, Wheeler on the one and a half walks. Michael Conforto over one and a half bases. We'll check you tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Check me out on socials. Hit up Patty. Let me know what kind of job we're doing. We's out of here. Remember, one last lesson. When you work this hard, feels a lot less like Lockio. Damn right. Peace.